there everyone, we're back at the Great Electric Train Show and uh, I found KR Models, in fact I found Keith Revel of KR Models and uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about some of the models that they've been bringing through to the market but also they made a number of really great announcements today at the show. Today's video is sponsored by Trainomatic makers of DCC decoders designed to be fully compatible with every manufacturer's locomotive. So can you tell me a little bit about um, what you've been announcing here today? Because these are really exciting. Yeah, we've um, we've announced that we're going to be doing the uh, Southern Region 4 double D EMU, uh, which obviously is an Oliver Bullhead uh, creation as well. Yeah. Um, only two examples were originally made. Mm -hmm. uh, there's two portions of that that actually still exist. Mm -hmm. um, so we have actually been working with the preservation group and society that, that actually owns these. So now that um, we have full access to all the drawings and, and all the relative data, um, we're working on the CADs right now. They should be done uh, hopefully in the early part of next year um, because they're very complex with two sets of drawings yeah. for, the, for the two uh, power cars and then the two coach cars in between. Uh, they'll come with internal lights uh, they'll come with um, we're working on the, the process of getting uh, seated passengers painted seated passengers for them as oh, well right. so, so will they actually come with the passengers yes, in situ absolutely oh, wow. uh, we can either, we haven't quite worked out the parameters on this yet, but we're either going to supply them for you guys to fit, mm -hmm. so you can arrange them however you want, or yeah, yeah. we can do them randomly, it all depends if you want to actually take them apart. Right. That depends on how complex it's going to be to take them apart. Right, okay. Um, and it'll yeah. come as a, so it's a, a four car set. Four car rake. Right. Yeah, uh, the DCC ready, we suspect, will be around the £350 mark right. um, for a full four-car set. Um, <laughs> and then, obviously, we're, uh, you know, we'll be doing the DCC sound as well. Excellent. And you've also announced at this show, you've not neglected the wagons, the PAL brick is one that's really caught my eye. Yes, it's a, it's a beautiful-looking, cute little, yeah. little, little wagon. Um, for the British Rail PAL brick. Definitely. Uh, we arrived, as I say, with the with the samples ready to go. Um, we just got to finish off the, the decorated samples and then we can go pretty much straight into production. They uh, they should be available around late spring, we anticipate right now. Uh -huh. uh, it's such a simple thing. Uh, three car rate, 60 pounds. So right, yeah. They're, you know, they're a nice, cheap cheap little wagon to, to put exactly. on, your, on, your wag on, your, on your layout. And it's so different, actually from a lot of the other wagons that are currently available ready to run to get that great variety in terms of in rates of trains in, in yards yep. because they are quite distinctive and of course they did have a, a longer career in terms of being used as barrier wagons as well. Well Freightliner stripped the bodies off and just basically had them as a, as a flat frame mm. um, so they were just like a little general haulage little kind of you know wagon anyways mm. so that, that kind of extended their life as well mm. but um, we're producing them with steel wheels as opposed to the plastic wheels right um, so that obviously makes smooth for a smoother running oh definitely um, yeah yeah what there's a the, the actual top part is 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 the cast part so it makes it a nice weighty wagon definitely so yeah it's got some great substance for, for not, a, not a whole lot of bang for your buck yeah and on the stand here as well today I know there's some really interesting mugs the torpedo wagon and yeah. Talk, that's loaded up with features. Uh, you, can you talk us through some of the, the, the plans you've got with that? Well, the torpedo wagon is still in existence today. It still runs around the Scunthorpe Steelworks. Right, yeah. Um, but it's our first produced, and as far as we were, industry produced, DCC powered or controlled wagon. The, the actual barrel of the, the torpedo will rotate 180 degrees. Right, yeah. And uh, we're in the process of just figuring out the engineering on how we can get an illuminated orange glow light right, within so, the barrel so yeah. it will actually show the hot ember kind of effect. Yeah. Right. I, I mean, um, we saw a little bit of the, the circuit board you showed me earlier on and yeah. it really does look like it's, it's, it's going to be a, a very special wagon. It's going to be very special because, yeah. as I say, we, we spent a lot of time developing the engineering on it to actually mm. make, make the actual, you know, uh, roll of it. Um, it's, 
but it's, it's, it's quite a quite a weighty little wagon. It mm. will be supplied as a pair because that's how they run in in Scunthorpe anyway. Yeah. yeah. And then obviously, you know, how how else can you run it but with a Hunslet Bobo, which we're also producing. Yeah. So at the end of the day. Uh, you know, you'll have a full outfit to be able to run on a small industrial layout. Yeah, and certainly steelworks layouts are very, very popular. Um, I've seen a lot of people building them. So a wagon like that, with all those features, is going to be really, really well received. And yeah. As we've seen in previous years, when manufacturers have made what might be considered quite um, oddball wagons, they've done exceptionally well. So yes. I think that's going to do really well. We've uh, had a lot of strong interest from that. We really have. And the shay that's next to it is well I was very impressed with that because it was there's already been shays on the market from other manufacturers this has got fully functional um, actual drivetrain with the actual um, drive shaft. Yeah. yeah yeah it does the, the the previous versions have only been cosmetic so they've not actually driven the the pony trucks themselves yeah. whereas our versions will because as I say we've, we've pioneered the, the the micro engineering to actually have all the drive shafts working so it's, it's yeah. a fully functional shape and, and on the video that you showed me of that working, it makes such a huge difference to see all oh, of does. that complicated gearing yes, going does. round. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, we, we've, we've received phone calls on that regularly saying how pleased customers are now that there is actually a fully functional shade and that it's going to have lights and sound as well. Absolutely. So uh, we're even going to supply a, a replacement um, panel on it that we can swap it out from the oil tank to a coal. Right, you can do the, the different so, versions. Yeah. So you know that that's that's just going to enhance the you know the, the model ability for, for you know for potential models. And you've also got uh, the the next uh, livery version <laughs> of the, your your signature you model, the GT3, yeah. Yeah. and that's one that um, I was very very lucky to be able to borrow and review one of those. Yeah. I was really impressed, but um, you've got an example here in the BR Blue, and actually it looks really good like that. Yeah, it was uh, it was only ever done as a concept, and and it was emulated on on a on the, on train simulator. So it was kind of a tongue in cheek kind of you know move yeah, to do. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it is a very limited run. There's only 200 units available, right? And we're, we're, we only have a few left uh, really? before the actual, you know, en entire complement has been sold. But, wow. but they, they will be delivered. Uh, uh, before the end of the year. Excellent. I mean, it does really suit it does that pop, it? it does, yeah. yeah. And yeah. actually, the um, uh, you, you've also got uh, a number of other locomotives in, in the rail blue as well, which I'm yeah. guessing neither of those really... No, the, these two are fictitious for the Clayton DHP1. Yeah. And the, the, the black, the green, and the BR blue for the leader are also fictitious. Again, and they do look really, really good. Yeah. yeah. And, and of course, the fell, which for a, a number of years, I can remember every year when uh, uh, manufacturers were announcing new models people would always say almost tongue-in-cheek what about a fell yeah and now we've finally got one as well coming through and it, yeah. it's, it's again a very distinctive looking locomotive the yeah. real one obviously is not massively successful no but it's certainly uh, one that really does stand out uh, in model yeah. form I mean it, we, we, we've sold you know uh, way more than we thought we were ever going to do with a fell because it, it's such an unusual one. Yes. And we've also manufactured it with a removable centre conrod yeah. so that um, you can have it in the, so the later have it guys. In whichever version yeah, yeah. you choose. So you're effectively getting two trains for the price of one. Absolutely. Brilliant. And um, in terms of people being able to find these, you sell them direct, but also um, do you, um, what, what retailers can people find them at? Um, mostly rails uh, of Sheffield, uh, but primarily, as I say, through our own website. Right. Um, you know, it's it's uh, it's it's easier commercially to keep it in house than it is yeah. to outsource to to certain retailers. But um, you know, we, we were we were we were persuaded very heavily, shall we say, uh, by rails to, to to supply them. So so yeah, they they, they have a limited number. Um, and as far as I was aware, uh, this weekend they've pretty much sold out of the GT3s. Well, I mean, they're doing incredibly well. And like I said, when yeah. uh, you lent me one um, uh, just after they'd come out, I think it was, yeah. I, I was absolutely blown away, particularly the sound installation on it yeah. is really, really impressive. And being a gas turbine, it's so different from anything else, either diesel, electric or steam that yeah. you might hear, that it really does uh, um, stick out head and shoulders 
of anything else on a layout. Yeah, it does. It really Absolutely. does. It sounds awesome. It does, absolutely. Yeah. So look, thank you ever so much for having Not a, a problem. talk with us. And it's really great just to talk through the models that you've got available and that are going to be available. And I think as well, you sort of took the show by storm this morning with your announcements on the PAL brick um, uh, in particular for me, because that's a wagon I, I've seen at uh, Oswa Street, at Nantmore. Yeah. Uh, and you know, it, it stands out as a very distinctive wagon and it is great to see these coming through, yeah. uh, ready to run. So yeah. thank you ever so much. Not Problem. great talking to you thank you very much so a big big thank you to keith at kr models for taking the time out to talk to us here at the great electric train show but until next time this is me jenny kirk saying you take great care of yourself happy modeling bye for now today's video is sponsored by trainomatic makers of DCC decoders designed to be fully compatible with every manufacturer's locomotive. Visit train-o-matic.com to browse the full range and see what they've got suitable for you. I'd like to send out a huge thanks to everybody who supports me on Patreon. And an extra special huge thanks goes out to Anthony Kidson, Offshore Allen, oorail.co.uk, Michael Lockie, Helen Sink, Peter Bolton, Brian and Dorothy Mudd, Gary Lewis, David Quinn, Sparky 107107, George Botterini, Chris Moss, Robert Steers, MD of San Juan Model Company and Grantline Products, Sam Yates, Dale Williams, John N. from NC, NYMR ish, Jonathan Foster, Peter, Graham Foster, Clifford Ison, Larry W. Grant, NI Railways 4000 class, Ian Coulson, and Alan Dickerson. Thank you. Without you guys, I couldn't do this.